two. <laughs> Let's give it another shot here. Um, my internet connection is not the greatest, um, but I am very determined for whatever reason to um, make this video or send this, this video out there into the ethers and into the hearts of those of you that are listening and watching and will be listening and watching later. And it's uh, just, I don't know, um, I can just speak from my own experience, just feeling so much buzz in the air. I couldn't even sleep last night. It took me a very long time to fall asleep. And um, yes, <laughs> thank you for the, um, the, the comments here. And I also want to say if you going to be joining here and if you're listening right now please um, ask any questions if you have on what I'm about to, to share and God bless you too Yvonne thank you so much um, so here's what's going on and that's the download that I wanted to share with you and whatever your personal experience has been in the last I would say 24 to 48 hours and what is taking place tonight um, it's actually going to be early morning um, for you in northern america at 3 a.m uh, it's a very big event happening cosmically speaking astrologically speaking and the energy that we are feeling right now here on planet earth and it's all related to our sweet planet venus and as you know venus is the planet of love or maybe you don't know so i'm here to tell you venus is the planet of love and um, relationships also and what is occurring today is um, a rare conjunction uh, not so so rare actually but it doesn't happen very often um, every 18 to 19 months or so so in about um, oh actually in exactly 12 hours exactly 12 hours from right now the uh, Venus is gonna pass over the sun now Venus is in retrograde motion and she's gonna be in that space for another three weeks or so until April 15th and what happens is that Venus is gonna move from being an evening star to a morning star so what happens like if you've been watching the night sky and you've been seeing Venus as the, the, the bright 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 star in the sky right after sunset that's Venus Okay. And Venus goes through cycles of being an evening star where we can see her in the night sky and then she moves into being a morning star where we see her um, during sunrise. But the in-between phase, she actually goes into the underworld, that's how we call it, and she becomes invisible. So that happens when she passes over the sun and the bright light of the sun kind of blinds her you know and that's why we are not able to see her from earth so that passing of the sun is happening in about 12 hours um, exactly actually like I said in 12 hours 3 a.m. northern in Nor northern America and on the Pacific coast so just to give you a visual for a moment okay if this is the sun right now and the sun is in the sign of Aries. Venus is in the sign of Aries. And I'm going to talk about, I'm going to explain what it means in human terms, right? I just want to give a little bit of a preview of, of what's going on actually in the cosmos. So the sun is right here. The, the sun is, is right here. And Venus in retrograde motion is moving and going to pass the sun, okay? So if you think about Venus, is, let's say Venus is right here and then she's going to pass and boom, there's a conjunction. They're gonna to conjoin together where Venus will become, un, um, she's not gonna be visible anymore. She's not gonna be visible for a few weeks until you know, they keep moving away from each other and then Venus is gonna be visible in the, morning, in the mor morning sky, all right? So in the moment of the conjunction, and that's why it's such a big deal, and that's why it's such a big day. And that's why I wanted to make this video. And that's why I'm so excited. And um, again, I couldn't sleep last night. I, I feel very deeply connected to Venus. Uh, I resonate with Venus very much so. Um, I was born on the day of Venus, which is Friday, Viernes. 
So my car, <laughs> I named my car Venus. So Venus really speaks to me uh, being the planet of love as well, which I'm just all about that. So personally for me and what I wanted to share with all of you guys and girls, um, the importance and the significance of that day and how does that apply into your life? How can you utilize that energy for you? And I want to speak in, in um, not in two ways, but two aspects of your life, yourself and your relationship to yourself and then your relationships in general, because our relationships right now are being highlighted like never before, emphasized big time, but more than anything else is your relationship with yourself. Um, Venus being in the sign of Aries, in retrograde motion, the invitation for us that has been taking place um, in the last two weeks and then it's going to last for another four weeks is to really, really look at your relationship with yourself and really raise the bar and really find new standards for your life, new standards for your relationship with yourself. It's a, it's a really profound and important time of reflection and introspection and improving, improving, improving upon your own relationship with yourself and your relationships with other people. What happens during that time when the Sun and the Venus, and Venus meet and then Venus goes into the underworld, right? It's a moment of, of flipping a page, so to speak, and switching. And when it comes to Venus, it's flipping the page on your values. One thing. Flipping the page of what it is that you value in your life what it is that you value in your relationships, what it is that you value in your Okay. We're back. Crossing my fingers that we got to stay live here. So, um, as I was saying, flipping the page on your entire value system, flipping the page on, on your relationships, flipping the page on the relationship with yourself. So, it's a really good time for you to look at your relationships in your life. And I'm going to be honest with you that during this time, you might experience a lot of shifts in your life when it comes to your relationships, the way you relate to people, what um, is no longer in alignment with your value system and what it is that you value and then therefore your relationships are going to change which means some people will either um, take the back seat in your life or some people may take the front seat in your life. You know, new people are definitely uh, walking into our lives right now in alignment, in accordance to who we are now and our value system and what it is that you value. And um, I encourage you to really just be brave and be courageous and go with those changes and what is being asked of you in the realm of relationships. Now, this is my invitation to you, which is super, super important. Uh, biggest, biggest part of this message I want to say, again, is the relationship that you have with yourself. And if it's tonight or tomorrow, just take this weekend to really treat yourself like the king or the queen that you are. And I posted, you know, um, the title for this video is my wedding day. And it's true. I'm not kidding here. I'm really not kidding. I, and maybe that sounds like super cliche or like spiritual woo-woo or whatever, but I really got a very clear guidance that this needs to happen in my life of marrying myself um merging merging and and, and bringing this union within myself into the physical form but it has to start with it has to start with myself first of all so i decided to have a wedding day today on this very special day of Venus and Sun coming together, marrying both my masculine and my feminine, 
and making a strong commitment to myself. And there's something now, okay, I'm already committed to myself. This is something I have, have been doing for many, many years. Although there's something to be said about a ceremony, when a ceremony takes place, whatever the ceremony is, it can be something very simple and very small, but nevertheless, when we take the time to create that ceremonial place, when we put a very strong intention in motion, and then of course take the action accordingly, but there's something to be said about that moment of the, when, we, when we create the space for that ceremony to, to take place. And so just to share a little bit about myself here and one of the things that I'm really, um, I'm all about, like I said, is love. And I know that part of my purpose and part of my journey here on earth is to walk side by side with my king or my man, a person that we're supposed to, to really come together and do something magnificent together. And there's something to be said about when we merge forces you know, our individual power, wisdom, and gifts are great. And then when the right combination comes into place, it's like, whoo, watch out kind of thing. And I've always known that from a very young age without really knowing what I, was, what I knew, that I'm here to do that. And this, what I like to call divine union, sacred union, divine love that is, is more than just, oh yeah, you know, I have a boyfriend, or I have a girlfriend, or I have a partner, a wife and a husband and everything that comes with it. It's really, it's really beyond that. And I feel that a lot of people are in that space right now as well of wanting to come together and wanting to merge, especially when it comes to relationships and romantic relationships that people are starting to see the bigger picture of why why is the coming together taking place? What is the purpose of that? What is the purpose of love, really? And the highest form of love um, is when we can really merge in that way with another human being, uh, drop, you know, all the guards, all the masks, all the, the fears and the ego, and that's the surrender and being completely vulnerable with somebody else, letting that merge to take place, and it's through that very powerful field of merging union and love and a field of devotion that we rise above um, the status quo of what relationships are about and we create a new paradigm of relationships, a new paradigm of what it means to be in a partnership, what it means to be in that union, what is the, the higher service of that union. So I don't even know how I got into that, but that's what I'm about. <laughs> and um, it hasn't been an easy journey. You know, I had to be very clear and make um, a very conscious choice to step out of relationships. And that was four years ago, actually, um, to not be in relationships, to be celibate, to just take a break from the whole thing and to come back to myself. And Venus in, in retrograde in the sign of Aries, again, it's the invitation to come back to yourself, to come back to yourself. So what I'm doing for myself um, to, to be ready, to be ready for that kind of partnership, to be ready for that kind of union that I'm really envisioning for myself, and that's my heart calling, is to, to prepare my inner reality for that to take place, okay? And so this wedding day that is happening is me merging within myself, creating that merge and that union, um, and making a commitment for life for myself, which first and foremost, even if you are in a relationship, that never wavers, or at least that will be my, my suggestion. No matter what the partnership is, you and your connection to God is the first thing that, um, that is on the list, okay? And the Venus retrograde in Aries is the invitation for all of us to, to come to that place because our relationships are not strong enough if individually 
we don't have that strong connection with ourselves and with God or whatever you deem to be your creator, okay, source, universe. Um, and that's also the values that we are flipping, the, the, the value system maybe that we are flipping and starting to see like, oh, wow, you know, my relationship with myself is very, very valuable and very important. And so I'm going to invest and I'm going to, I'm going to invest that time in myself and energy and I'm going to do the things that strengthen that foundation, which I'm going back to my invitation for you this weekend is to treat yourself like that king and that, or that queen. Okay, when was the last time you've taken yourself to on a date? And again, this has nothing to if you are in a partnership or not, even if you are in a partnership, when was the last time you actually just given yourself the time and, and took yourself on a date or did something really, really awesome and luxurious for yourself or whatever it is that you like to do? This weekend is such a great, great time to to harness that energy and to treat yourself in that way and to be loving with yourself and to be gentle with yourself and to really define also or redefine your wants and your desires, your needs, what it is that you are wanting to attract into your life. Uh, be very clear about that. Uh, we also approaching the new moon, okay? So we're looking at a few factors together that are all inviting us to, you know, let go, or as always, before the new moon. It's just like let go of the old, create space for the new, be clear of what the new is that you are attracting into your life, cultivate that within yourself. If you, if you like doing ceremonies and stuff like that, I totally invite you to do that. That's what I'm doing tonight, and I am marrying myself um and making that commitment and that devotion i like to really see it more as a devotion than a commitment to really being devoted to myself to my well-being to my to my purpose being devoted to my heart more than anything else also you guys when venus passes the sun in the way she is going to do she is as, as close as possible to the earth right now which is another reason why the energy is being so amplified is because she is as close to the earth as possible and that is significant that is significant even if you don't know what it is that you are feeling if you are have been feeling something though in your life in the last week a uh, couple weeks just know that you're tapping into that energy of venus being so close to the earth right now and everything that is occurring in your life is pointing you in the direction of 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 finding more love for yourself of improving your relationship with yourself, of really getting clear of what do you want, what do you desire, what you don't want, what you don't desire, and to have the courage. Venus in Aries is a warrior princess, okay? Um, so find the courage to cut through those things that you don't desire and don't want in your life, you know, and it does take dedication and it does take a lot of will, um, but it's all in the name of creating the most loving and awesome relationship that you can have with yourself and with all of life. And trust me, all of your relationships are going to benefit from that. It's not just for yourself, but it's for your relationships as well. Now, if you are in a partnership, this is a beautiful, beautiful time to really take your partnership and your relationship to a next level. You know, as, as a unit, as a couple, you can really look at what do, I, what do we value in our relationship and how to cultivate more of that and what it is that we don't value in our relationship and to shift away from that. You know, in relationships, there's so many different dynamics and so many patterns. And this time right now, if you are in a partnership and a relationship is, is such an opportunity to boof, take it to a whole nother level to shift what it is that you need to shift and to strengthen what it is that you would like to strengthen in your relationship. And definitely, if definitely if you're in a relationship, take this weekend, go on a little trip or, or take the night out, whatever it is that you like to do in your relationships, but really give it more attention, more care. I really wanna emphasize also the aspect of sensuality and sexuality as well with with what's going on with venus and mars right now there's just this beautiful beautiful combination of feminine and masculine our sexuality and our sensuality and to take that to the next level so if you're in a partnership 
definitely do something out of the box maybe or or or, or just different or create a night all around your your sensuality and your connection um, with your body, your body and your heart, um, and 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 give yourself that time and let let new things emerge from that connection. Okay, and then if you are not in a partnership, don't be discouraged. That's actually awesome. Give yourself that space as well. Okay, maybe you're not going to have a wedding ceremony like I'm going to have tonight, but prepare a really special night for yourself or this weekend. You know, do something super sensual with yourself. Uh, Not just sexual, but sensual. And whatever your thing is, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just inviting you to take it to the next level. Get really intimate with yourself. Okay? And if you are going to play with your sexual energy, then step it up a notch, you know? Just really be with yourself. Get sensual with yourself. Get super, super juicy with yourself, you know? Like, give yourself that time. Give your body that love. Give yourself that intimacy. Why not? You know, it's, it's such a beautiful thing to celebrate right now. And there's a lot of breakthroughs that can happen through that. Let me tell you, it can be very healing, very healing for your heart, very healing for your body. Um, you know, we don't have to force our way through letting go or whatever it is, but we can really gently and sensually and beautifully invite new energy into our life. And that's my invitation for you, um, you know, harnessing this energy and this weekend and this really beautiful event that is taking place in the cosmos and the influence of Venus, the planet of love, harmony, and beauty being so close to the earth right now. I just, I can keep going on and on forever and ever and ever because I, I feel it's really important right now on the planet that we learn to cultivate more love and in the various ways that love can show up. It's also important for us to learn how to cultivate more intimacy with ourselves um, when it comes to our sexuality and our sensuality and and how how do we see ourselves? Um, Do you see yourself in the eyes of God? Do you really see yourself as, as beautiful? Do you really see yourself as beautiful? And to, you know, really take that into your heart and, 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 sit with that question Um, and if the answer is maybe no um, then look at that like why don't you see it yourself as beautiful and what is it that you consider to be ugly you know and and can you make room in yourself uh, more space in your heart for that ugliness you know to come in and that's that's how we shift things that's how we turn things from quote-unquote ugly to beautiful we we've got to invite that in and then turn it around and not push it away, you know. So, um, yes, I'll stop here. And thank you so much for um, those of you that joined. And um, I'm going to be doing also um, a webinar on the 20, I think the 27th. Yeah, that's the new moon. I'm going to send out an invite and I'm going to post that. Uh, It's going to be a webinar for the new moon and the month ahead in April. So uh, join me if you can. If you can, I'll record it as well, so it will be available um, to watch afterwards. But yeah, I'm sending you so much love, so, so, so much love, uh, Facebook land and the world. Uh, Thank you for watching and thank you for letting me share. Uh, Send me your love on my wedding day, and I am sending you so much love on your love day, however you choose to spend it, however you choose to invite that love into your life, however you choose to invite that devotion into your life, however you choose to invite that sense of union in your life, whatever it is that you are uniting within yourself, if it's the masculine and the feminine, if it's your darkness and your light, if it's your heart and your mind, if it's your body and your soul, and all of the above, I am sending you 
again, tons of love. And um, yeah, what else? That's it. It's just so much fun. I don't even know who's watching, but <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> Have a glorious, glorious weekend, everyone. And stay in your heart. Mwah. Ciao for now.